The movie we are going to discuss is called Good Night Mommy, which was released in 2022. Let's start with the story. The story begins with a video recording of a mother often singing songs to her two twin sons named Elias and Lucas. The family seemed happy when they were still intact before the divorce happened. This time, Elias and Lucas planned to visit their mother's house after living with their father following the divorce. When they arrived at the house, the two children found that their father had left without lingering, apparently to avoid meeting their mother. When they entered the house, Elias and Lucas were surprised at how quiet it was. Elias even found leftover food that had rotted, not knowing who had last touched it. Suddenly, their mother appeared with her face covered in bandages, explaining that she had just undergone plastic surgery to improve her appearance at a beauty clinic. Their mother also sets a series of rules, one of which is a strict prohibition for Elias and Lucas to enter her room. Despite this, their mother has tried to interact with them and even received some pictures of her children's work, which usually makes parents feel proud. In this situation, however, their mother looked as if she wasn't too interested. Later in the evening, this mother-daughter bonding moment looked like a normal mother-child relationship. Elias, nostalgic for the past, asked his mother to sing a song they used to sing when they were children. However, his mother unexpectedly refused the request. Elias was shocked and began to sense a change in his mother. The next day, Elias and Lucas were playing in the barn. Elias, curious, decided to go to the place his mother had forbidden. Once inside the barn, Elias saw that the place was still the same as before, and he even found his old toys. On one of the wooden poles, Elias saw a stain that looked like blood. Soon after, his mother found out that Elias had broken the rules by going into the barn. She angrily reprimanded Elias, but Elias argued that he was just trying to find a toy for Lucas. Although Elias's excuse seemed far-fetched, his mother was still disappointed and upset. Afterwards, they returned home and the tension between them grew. Elias overheard his mother talking to his father on the phone, discussing how Elias had dared to go into the barn when he was not supposed to. The mother, called Mamie, said that she couldn't stand the pretense anymore, especially because of Elias's attitude. This made Elias curious about what his parents were really hiding. Before the conversation was over, Elias went back to his room. The next day, Elias shared his fears with Lucas about what he had heard the night before. They were even more curious about their mother's words that she was tired of pretending. To find out the truth, they planned to install a radio in their mother's room so they could hear the conversation inside. When the opportunity arose, they both sneaked into their mother's room. However, when they heard their mother's voice approaching, Elias and Lucas quickly hid. While hiding, Elias was surprised to see that the drawing he had made for his mother had been thrown in the trash. At the same time, their mother, now holding a fork, looked at her face in the mirror to check the results of the plastic surgery. After being satisfied with the condition of her face, the mother found Elias's drawing lying around. Without hesitation, she tore up the drawing and threw it away. Elias was shocked, as if his mother hated him. To make a long story short, Elias told Lucas about his mother's strange behavior. They recalled the moment when their mother refused to sing lullabies as before, and Elias began to think that the woman in their house was not their real mother. This suspicion was reinforced when the mother said on the phone that she was tired of pretending. Lucas then compared the color of her mother's eyes. In the past, their mother's eyes were green, but now they looked blue. Elias found it hard to believe all this evidence, but his doubts grew. That night, Elias decided to confirm his suspicions. He snuck into his mother's room. However, his actions were discovered and the angry mother tried to break into Elias's room. In a fit of rage, the mother demanded an explanation for Elias's actions. Elias said aloud that the woman was not his mother. Upon hearing this, the mother slapped Elias and insisted that Elias call her mom. After everything seemed to be over, the mother, mommy, was busy taking care of her skin, which she had been taking good care of. But as it turns out, the whole incident was just a nightmare that Elias was having. When Elias wakes up terrified, Lucas invites his brother to run away from home because they are increasingly convinced that the woman is not their real mother. To make a long story short, the two boys decide to leave home. However, it rained heavily on the way. They decided to take shelter and spend the night in a neighbor's house that looked abandoned. Little did they know that the house was equipped with a motion sensor that allowed the homeowner to monitor them from a distance. While at the neighbor's house, Elias and Lucas felt a deep longing for their loving mother. They began to wonder how their mother was really doing. However, the situation changes when Elias realizes that Lucas has suddenly disappeared, and Elias immediately searches for his brother. 
but what he finds is himself waking up from another nightmare. This time, it was the police, who had come because of a report from the owner of the house. Elias tried to explain his situation to the police, but they didn't believe him. Finally, the police decided to take Elias away from the neighbor's house. Elias, who thought he was being taken to the police station, panicked when he realized he was being taken to his mother's house. When they arrived home, they found their mother with the bandages removed from her face. However, Elias and Lucas still did not recognize the woman as their mother. The police then explained that they were contacted by a neighbor who was out of town, and that's why they did what they did. Elias was confused because this time his mother seemed friendlier and not as angry as before. He began to wonder if it was just his feelings or if his mother had really changed. Seeing Elias's confusion, his mother told him to go to his room. After Elias left, the mother spoke to the police, explaining that Elias often hallucinated and made up vague stories, and that her son often fantasized about things that were not real. The police were visibly moved by the distress of the mother, a former model. Eventually, they began to believe her explanation. When Lucas returned to his room, he was disappointed that the police were not listening to his story. Fed up with the situation, Lucas is determined to uncover the truth at any cost. Both are convinced that they must find their real mother. Finally, Elias invites Lucas to do something about their sleeping mother, and what they do next remains a mystery. The next morning, the mother wakes up bound. Apparently, this was all the work of Elias and Lucas, the brothers who were increasingly suspicious that this woman was not their real mother. Elias forced their mother to reveal the truth about who she was. However, the mother, Alicia, insisted that she was their biological mother. To support his suspicion, Elias pointed out that their real mother had green eyes, while Alicia's eyes looked different. Upon hearing the accusation, Alicia explained that she had worn green contact lenses, soft lens, on a certain day. So she told Elias to check the soft lens that was kept in her purse. Despite this explanation, Elias still doubted her. He became increasingly angry and began to take extreme measures to force Alicia to tell the truth. However, she insisted that she was their mother. Lucas, who was also confused, began to search Alicia's bag to verify the truth. After checking the bag, Lucas did not find the soft lens that Alicia claimed to have. This reinforced their suspicion that the woman was not their biological mother. Lucas then told Elias to leave the house immediately and return to their father's house. In the midst of this conflict, Alicia began begging Elias to let her go. With a hopeful voice, she said that she was indeed their mother and asked Elias to believe her. However, Elias remained adamant and said that he would not release her. Lucas, increasingly affected by the situation, asked Elias to give Alicia a harsher punishment. Elias, now consumed with anger, complied with Lucas's request and treated Alicia even more harshly. However, Lucas continued to urge his brother to leave the house immediately. After a while, Elias finally agreed and they prepared to leave. To make a long story short, Elias and Lucas were at the side of the road waiting for the transport to leave. However, Elias suddenly remembered that he hadn't checked his mother's bag properly. Elias then lied to Lucas and said that he had to go back home to get his cell phone, which he had left behind. When Elias returned and checked his mother's bag, he found green soft lens inside. This made Elias doubt all of his suspicions. Shortly after, Lucas arrives and still insists that the woman is not his mother. This time, however, Elias did not believe Lucas's words. Elias was now convinced that Alicia was their real mother. Elias immediately returned home to find his mother still tied up. After releasing their mother, Lucas suddenly disappeared without a trace. Elias now has only his mother to deal with, while Lucas's fate remains a mystery. After the incident, Elias finally apologized to his mother for misunderstanding her. He admitted that all of his bad actions were influenced by Lucas, whom he had always listened to and followed. Elias's mother, understanding her son's condition, accepted his apology with understanding. Moments later, Elias continued to search for Lucas as if his brother were still there. Seeing her son's incessant searching, the mother invited Elias to go to the barn. Upon arriving at the barn, Elias looked terrified, especially when he saw the bullet holes in the wooden posts. Elias's mother then urges him to remember what happened a few years ago. Elias, still reluctant to face reality, pretends not to remember. Eventually, his mother makes it clear that the hole in the post is where Lucas died. She reminds Elias that, when they were kids, Elias and Lucas played war with a real gun. The gun accidentally went off and hit Lucas, causing his death. Hearing this explanation, Elias was visibly shaken. He was in shock as his mother recounted the tragic event that had haunted him for years. However, Elias couldn't face the truth and finally pushed his mother out of the attic. When he saw his mother lying motionless on the floor, Elias began to feel guilty. The guilt and deep trauma made Elias unable to control himself. 
so he unknowingly set fire to the barn. After realizing that his mother was dead, Elias came out of the barn feeling very guilty and confused. In the midst of his remorse, Elias suddenly sees Lucas and his mother approaching him. Although Lucas seems innocent to Elias, and even his mother seems to approach him lovingly, it is all an illusion created by Elias's guilt, and so the movie ends.